Okay guys, now we will try something very difficult that is to land our MD-82 without autopilot, without procedure, just uh, with ILS and uh, with uh, landing lights like PAPI. Puppy. So let's explain. As you can see here in the upper left corner, we have uh, a few uh, indicators. They are useful when you don't want to lose the focus uh, on the landing on uh, the airport and uh, you don't want to move the focus somewhere else to look uh, at, uh, at uh, other instrument. So uh, how to configure uh, these uh, indicators uh, let's click on the upper right corner here on the configuration uh, on the configuration button and uh, as you can see there is uh, the data output on the data output you can select whatever you want uh, show in cockpit so uh, I selected speed, trim, flaps, stats and speed brakes, gear and brakes, and uh, latitude, longitude and altitude, the throttle has a weak command, and this way. Okay, this is how to configure. What else? To land, we need two kind of instrument. First of all, the ILS, Instrument Landing System, that will help us uh, uh, in landing when uh, still we cannot see the airport because of uh, visibility, I don't know, weather or distance and so on. So how to, um, how to use the ILS? First of all, you have to tune the radio on the correct frequency, the NAV1 radio. Uh, to turn the ra to tune the radio you should know how it is what is the frequency uh, we open the map in the right in the right top corner you see the indicator of the map we open the map we select the layer IFR low and root okay and here we have uh, our airport uh, with the many beams, uh, you see those uh, grey beams, uh, each one uh, represents uh, a runway uh, and the connected ILS. We want to land on the 34 left runway, so we select uh, this beam, the left one, OK, and uh, as you can see here, we can read KSEA, this is uh, the, um, uh, Seattle, uh, the Seattle uh, runway 34L ILS, this is the frequency. So we could manually tune this frequency or we click here on tune nav1 and automatically we will see that our radio is correctly tuned on the ILS related to the runway 34L. Let's see, okay, you can read here the frequency on the nav1 radio. This is the, the correct frequency. How works the ILS? Each runway has a transmitter that transmits a beam of radio frequency. Uh, the radio NAV1 is connected to this instrument that you can see here. There is the artificial horizon, but what we need are two purple marks this is the horizontal one the mark of the localizer it has to stay in the center meaning that we are aligned with the runway and here we have the vertical um, information this purple mark should be in the middle point in the center point 
when it is high this way means that we should fly high to catch the path the glide path when it is low it means that we should go low go down in order to catch the glide path it should be in the center so we will fly now more or less horizontally waiting for this mark to go down and down and down when the mark are, uh, reaches the central point uh, this is the moment that we catch the, the glide path and we will go down at uh, five or seven hundred um, feet per minute but we we will verify that we are on uh, the correct glide let's now talk about uh, the landing lights that will help us to land when we can see the runway now we see nothing but the lights the runway lights but if we go closer we can see that here there are four red lights four red lights on each runway as you can see four red lights what do they mean they mean that we are too low we should go up because the correct pattern is when we see two white lights plus two red lights you see at each runway has the the landing lights p api puppy lights okay we can use puppy lights of course only when there is a good visibility okay now we will do our best to land trying to catch the glide path it means that we will try to fly horizontally let's go now and pause you see the throttle is at 75 percent we are going quite high and we will try to stay horizontal what about our mark it is still high means that we are too low we should fly high but look here our vertical speed is going up and maybe too much so let's control it we want to stay more or less horizontal or going up a bit and keep your eyes on the ILS on the glide path on the glide scope the instrument's name is a glide scope when the marker that uh, you can see it's going down when the marker will be in the central position we will uh, uh, go down okay we are going to fast up let's reduce our vertical speed okay this way we will also reduce the throttle Okay, because uh, we need to slow down and uh, to slow down and uh, uh, extend our flaps. The marker is uh, almost in the central position, almost. Okay, let's reduce again our throttle. 18%. You can see the, the landing lights, they are, let's pause and let's go with the, the zoom. Can you see the lights are now too white and too red? It means that we are on the correct landing path. Now we should keep this configuration. okay we should keep this configuration going down okay this is the good landing speed vertical speed let's reduce the throttle 
we are still too fast I will extend the speed brakes in order to reduce our our speed lights are all white meaning that we are flying too high let's go down a bit not too fast in the meanwhile we want to decrease our speed the flaps they are now at 25 percent look at the LS we are still too high okay I will extend the flaps in order to reduce our speed lights are all white should go down a little bit our land ILS says that we are still too high usually uh, pilots they use the autopilot that is uh, uh, much better way to fly of course we are doing something very difficult it is flying with our hands without automatic aids just eyes and instruments okay I will extend another bit of flaps we are on path two red lights and the ILS marker is in the center maybe we are we should go a little bit on the left okay now we are correct almost but too high still too high flaps are now 100% totally extended we are still too high ok this beep 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 means we have to open the, the landing gear still a bit too high ok one red light is ok one red light is ok 400, two red lights ok let's go a bit on the left speed is 160 knots it's ok still a bit too high but never mind ok ok Ready? at 10 we reduce throttle ok reduce throttle and lower the nose ok now we apply brakes and reverse thrust we will use engines to slow down Okay, we 
we are almost okay okay Okay, so we landed. Now let's see how was our landing with the built-in recorder. Looking from outside, we can rewind a bit. Okay, in order to see how was our landing. Let's turn. Okay, go. The landing was uh, absolutely not perfect, but more or less uh, we succeeded and we landed without use of auto autopilot. Maybe the nose, okay, the nose is high, down. Not so bad, not so bad. Could be better, but uh, it's okay. Okay, this is uh, our landing made without using uh, autopilot and without procedure, just as you would land uh, with a little airplane. Okay, stop the recording. <laughs>